Hey YouTube, this is your boy here, Creative Fiber, and today I'm going to be doing a review video on Quest Protein Cookie. And this is the chocolate chip flavor. I don't know what all kind of flavors they got, but I'm assuming they got quite a bit. Um, first things first, I'm going to jump right into the size of it. And as you see here, I'm pushing in on it, and that's a pretty big, big size cookie right there. Um, I give it a negative 10 on taste. Not the worst thing I've ever tasted, but it's it's pretty horrible. Um, very hard to get down. But, uh, that's just my opinion. You might like it. Um, I give it a 10. A 10 for the uh, 15 grams of protein in it. And 10 out of 10 for the fiber in it. 9 grams of fiber. And that's going to help your metabolism out a lot. That's why I like this. I figured I'd get them and try them out, you know, when I get ready to cut weight for the summer. And I tried one. I got the other one still. I don't think I'm even going to eat it. But, um, I would recommend getting it, though, if you're trying to lose weight, speed up your metabolism, if you're trying to get in shape for summer. Definitely recommend this if you can stomach it, due to the fact it has 9 grams of fiber in it, 15 grams of protein. I mean, it makes a nice little snack, but um, other than that, the flavor of it I wouldn't recommend. It doesn't taste anything like chocolate chip, like it says. I mean, it's in there. You can see it, but... um. Taste-wise, nah. Has an aftertaste of, like, uh, grass. Some kind of grass. Like, it might be vegan or something. It doesn't say anything about being vegan that I know of, but, um... Anyhow, it tastes like it. So, um, anyhow, the other stuff that's in it, it has 220 milligrams of sodium. Well, that's quite a good bit, just for this cookie right here. So... I don't recommend it for that, but it's not too bad. But um, other than that, this is Quest, uh, by the brand Quest. You know, no protein bar really tastes that good, so... You know, for that, it's not as bad as the rest of the protein bars I've tried. Um, Fiber One actually tastes a lot better, but Fiber One doesn't have all this protein in it. And usually, typically, don't have that much fiber actually in it. If you ever tried the Fiber One protein bars, they don't have nearly as much as that in it. So, I mean, I, I, overall, would I buy it again? Yeah. I mean, because summertime, once it hits spring, I'll be eating a bunch of these if I can just get it down. I'll probably chew it up and swallow it down with, like, water or something. So... It's also pretty affordable, too. I picked this up for two of these for $3 at a local food city. So, I mean, I, I'd, I'd say, would I recommend it? Yes, for springtime. Would I recommend it any other time of the year? No. Just because of the taste of it. But like I said, it's all up to you. This is just my opinion on it. I mean, recommend it for springtime. Any other time? No. If you like these videos, make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and that's it.